Hey guys, Roxy Sims here, and I have another speed build for you. Now this one is going to be a firework stand, like a roadside firework stand. And see, I was just like, I was on the road today, I was driving, and I drove past one of these because it's July 2nd, so as you can imagine, they're everywhere. And I was like, you know, light bulb, it just, I was like, oh my god, I gotta make one of these. I, I had to, you know, I saw it and I was just like, yep, I'm doing that when I get home. So I thought of this build and did this build and like edited the video in just like an hour. <laughs> uh, really quick. I was just like, ah, I gotta make it. And so I just made it really quick and I was like, I gotta get this out because like I said, July 2nd and you know, cause I, I do live in the USA and, um, you know, we have 4th of July where we just shoot off fireworks and hurt ourselves. And <laughs> so, you know, I had to get a firework stand in there. And that way, you know, when you're like storytelling or, you know, if you're making a video or if you're just storytelling in your own game, you have a firework stand. And I'm not sure if it is like 100% functional. Like, I don't know if you can actually buy the fireworks. I didn't actually try. Um, but if not, it's good for storytelling either way. I know that in the new seasons pack, I don't believe any, um, there's no like 4th of July already made in there because, you know, this game is sold to people all over the world. It's not just for the United States. So, um, but you can make one, of course. I love that feature. You can make, like, any holiday that you can think of, really, uh, as long as they have, like, traits that would make sense with that holiday, which they do have, um, set off fireworks as, like, a holiday trait or whatever. So, you could definitely make a 4th of July or just a general summer holiday where you set off fireworks and have barbecues and maybe play in the sprinklers, have water balloon fights, all that good stuff that would be a fun summer holiday for anyone, even if you're not from the United States. So this firework stand is definitely one that's like a small town firework stand, I imagine. It looks very country to me. It reminds me of like the firework stands I went to when I was growing up for sure. And, um, you know, I put like red, white, and blue streamers and stuff. But of course, you can change those to many, many colors. So if you don't celebrate the 4th of July, you know, you can change that to whatever colors that you so desire. If you would like to make one of these firework stands yourself, if you want to make it on your own, um, and you don't know how to get these fireworks, you just need to find them in the debug section. So how you get to the debug section, if you haven't uh, done that yet, if you don't know how to do that yet, what you do is you put in the cheat, you put in BB show, sorry, BB period show hidden objects. And that will show lots of normally hidden items. I just went into the search bar and I typed in fireworks and it brought up all of these. And, and then you just need the um, BB period move objects on cheat. And then you can move those wherever you like and set them up on the tables. And there you go. You got a firework stand. But as always, I will upload this to the gallery if you don't want to make one on your own. Um, if you do find that the fireworks have fallen to the ground, you might have to move them up to the table. I think they might. Sometimes the debug items will do that. Um, but guys, we're about finished. It's a quick build. So, uh, I really hope that you have enjoyed this. If you have, please like and subscribe and, um, come back for more. I'm getting ready to start a let's play. Um, so guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye everybody.